I'll just repeat it more or less verbatim, is a passage found in Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 17 and 18. And this is where uh, a, a man comes to Jesus and says, good teacher, in Mark's Gospel, mm -hmm. what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus says, why do you call me good? There is no one good but God alone. And then he says, obey the commandments, etc. And interesting, in Matthew's version, and as you pointed out, Matthew uses Mark in the composition of his own uh, gospel. Mm -hmm. The words are, uh, are slightly, ch Jesus' own response to the address, good teacher, what must I do? His own response is changed, is it not? And and you make an interesting observation about why that might, why Matthew might have changed that. Do you want to perhaps explain that to people? Yeah. What's going on there? Surely. I mean, what Matthew does is to take Mark's um why do you call me good? Only God is good. And and replace it with, why do you ask me about the good? Only God is good. Now, what's happened there is that the line in Mark, why do you call me good? Only God is good, implies logically, if you think about it, that Jesus isn't God. Only God is good. And in the early church, it became quickly established that Jesus was, in some sense or other, divine. And so people didn't care for a text which appeared to deny that Jesus was divine. And so Matthew changes it to a more watered down version. Why do you ask me about the good? Only God is good. Now, this is an example of what Bart Ehrman, who you quoted, calls the orthodox corruption of scripture, where something which is um, offensive in the text to Christian perceptions is changed to something that's more acceptable. Hmm. Well, yeah. This raises, uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps I'm being naive here and uh, maybe na anachronistic, but it might strike some people, and I think me, as a little dishonest, actually. Uh, is it that Matthew would have thought that Mark simply got it wrong or that this was simply unacceptable and we're going to change it to make it conform to our beliefs anyway? It's, it, one doesn't normally tamper with, because it wouldn't have been seen as a sacred text, Mark, would really? it, I suppose? I think that's the point, really. I mean, I agree with you. It does seem dishonest. And, and if you take Mark as being an accurate representation of what Jesus said, then you're tampering with it and changing it to, to, to alter the text in that way.